Hello friends. Welcome back to this channel. In today's video we are going to see. What is Mutex in FreeRTOS and how to use it? We will be using ESP32 and Arduino IDE to implement Mutex. So let us see what is Mutex. In FreeRTOS, a Mutex is a synchronization mechanism that is used to control access to a shared resource by multiple tasks in a real-time operating system. A Mutex operates in much the same way as a Mutex in any other concurrent system. By allowing only one task at a time to lock it and access the shared resource, and blocking other tasks that attempt to lock the same mutex. Why to use mutex? Mutexes are used in concurrent programming to synchronize access to a shared resource by multiple threads or tasks. The main reasons to use a mutex are to 1. Prevent race conditions. When multiple threads access the same shared resource simultaneously, it can lead to unpredictable behavior and unexpected results. A mutex ensures that only one thread at a time can access the resource, avoiding race conditions, and ensuring that the resource is accessed in a controlled and consistent manner. 2. Ensure data consistency. By synchronizing access to shared data, a mutex ensures that the data remains in a consistent state, even in the presence of multiple concurrent threads. This can help to prevent data corruption and other synchronization problems. 3. Improve system performance. By synchronizing access to shared resources, a mutex can help to prevent wasted CPU cycles and improve overall system performance by ensuring that each thread can access the resource it needs without interference from other threads. 4. Simplify concurrent programming. Mutexes provide a simple and effective mechanism for synchronizing access to shared resources, making it easier for programmers to write correct concurrent code. This can save time and reduce the risk of bugs and errors in concurrent systems. Let us see some real-life example to see how Mutex works. In this picture you can see a box I and two men. The box is locked. Only one key is available to unlock the box. So only one person who's is in possession of the key can unlock the box. Next picture shows the person on the left side is in possession of the key so holds the ownership of the key. Therefore he is accessing the box. Whereas other person will have to wait till first person hands over the key to him. Now the picture shows the person who was possessing the key has accessed the box and returned the key. Now second person has accessed the key and so is the owner of it. He can access the box now. So we have see how mutex works by using this real life example. Now let us see how erasing condition can occur in the code. When two tasks access the same global variable. Consider the case where task 1 and task 2 are using same global variable for processing. Global variable is initialized to 0. This variable is accessed by task 1. This variable is incremented by task 1. So task 1 finishes the processing of this variable. Now task 2 accesses this global variable. It increments the value of the variable by 1. Now task 2 also finishes the processing of this variable. This is the ideal case which should happen normally. Now the global variable value is 2. This variable is again accessed by task 1. But before completing the processing, the same variable is accessed by task 2 as well. The task 2 increments the variable and now the variable value is 3. Now the task 2 processing is complete. Value of variable with the task 1 is 2. Task 1 increments the value of variable by 1. Now global variable value is again 3. It should have been 4. This is called racing condition. We will try to create this condition in code. We are using ESP32 with Arduino IDE. Let us go to Arduino IDE. In the code we declare global variable glb var and set it as 0. We create task 1 function where the global variable is incremented and printed on serial monitor. We create task 2 which implements same functionality. In setup section we create task 1 with priority set as 1. 
and calls the function task1. We also create task2 with priority set as 1. And calls the function task2. Now let us flash the code. Connect your ESP32 board with your PC or laptop. Select the board and port. And then upload the code. After code is flashed start the serial monitor. Here you can see the tasks are incrementing variable. Sometimes same count is printed by task 1 and task 2. Note here. I have set V task delay as 1 millisecond for both the tasks to somehow generate this racing condition. Now let us try to solve this issue with help of mutex. Let us see the other sketch code for using mutex. Here the mutex variable is defined as mutex handle. FreeRTOS uses Silmiler API for semaphore and mutex. Here global variable is declared as int. And initialized to 0. In setup section. The mutex is created using API X semaphore create mutex. And assigned to handle mutex. Here the task 1 is created which calls task 1 function. And has a priority of 1. The task 2 is created which calls task 2 function. And has a priority of 1. This is the task 1 function. The mutex is taken by task 1 by using the API. Semaphore take which takes mutex handle as an arguments along with with delay time variable which is set max delay time. So this task can wait for longer time to get the mutex. Once task 1 gets the mutex no other tasks can get it. Till it is released by task 1. This task prints the message task 1, mutex acquired after. Acquiring the mutex. Now the global variable is incremented here and its value is printed in serial monitor. After this task delay of 1 millisecond is called. And then mutex is released by using the API. X semaphore give. Passing mutex handle as an argument in it. After this task 1, mutex released message is printed. Similar functionality is implemented in task 2 function which secures the mutex and increments the global variable and then releases the mutex. So with mutex the racing condition is avoided here. As when any tasks takes control of the mutex then. Other tasks have to wait till the mutex is released. I am putting two print line functions to improve the readability in the serial monitor data. No code is put in the loop section. So we are ready to flash the code in ESP32 board. So connect your board to PC or laptop. Select the board and the port and upload the code. Once the code is uploaded. Start the serial monitor. Now we can see. The task 1 has acquired the mutex. And value of the global variable is increment. And it is 1. After this task 1 releases the mutex. Next the task 2 acquires the mutex. Increments the variable. Which has value 2 now. Then the task 2 releases the mutex. This process goes on and 1. Without any corruption of the variable. The global variable gets incremented correctly. As you can see it form the data printed on the serial monitor. That's it for the day. In this video we have seen what is mutex and how to implement it to avoid race condition. Thanks for watching the video. Ho you found this video interesting. If you like the video then please hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.